What's up, stars? Man, I tell you what. I feel like a scrub, man. I feel like I'm losing it, guys. I, I got to get it back together. Um, you know, after moving all week, guys, and don't, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm happy. I'm blessed that we got a new home. I'm excited, guys. I know I sound excited, but, guys, I'm just tired. I'm just kind of wore out a little bit. You know, you can see my hair, man, looking all rough. Got a little gray showing. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get a haircut. That's the sign back there. It was showing that they do flat flat tops and fades. This is Shorty's Barber Shop, if you didn't know. I love this barber shop. I remember this lady, man, when she used to work for another barber. She said, I'm going to own my own barber shop one day. I need you to come back. And when she when she she was passing out cars at her last day at work, I was happy to get my hair cut. I don't know if you guys can see me, man, but it's beautiful. You see the sun shining out here. But, uh... And so she said, come back to my shop. I'm, I'm here, man. So she's going to cut my hair again. But it's looking rough. I wanted to give y'all a before after, before shot. Yeah, man, it's been rough. We got into our home. I got to do a last little cleanup at my other house, man, before I finally say goodbye to my other house. That house treated us good for 14 years, man. I was in that house for 14 years, guys. So, uh, yeah, we're just tightening it up for the landlord, getting it all clean and tidy for the next renters. But I want y'all to see Hollywood's cut, man. It's looking rough. Looking rough, man. But uh, I'm going to go in here and she's going to tighten it up for me. Somebody going to tighten it up for me. Somebody that works for us. I don't care. Somebody going to tighten it up for me. And I'll show you guys the result when I come out. Okay, guys. There you go. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section, guys. What you guys think about the cut, man? Yeah, man. I got it cut off, dude. I got it cut off, man. I got it cut off. But, guys, I'm tired, man. I... I didn't realize how much stuff we had in that house, man. I'm just tired, guys. And I still got to go pick up another, well, it's a smaller U-Haul. I'm going to finish up this last little bit of stuff at the house, man, the old house. And uh, I'm going home and rest, man. I was, we still got to do a bunch of old, you know, unpacking at the new house, man. But I might do a little bit of that later today. But I like this cut, man. It's all right. He hooked me up. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always good when you come out of the barber shop, man, and they did the job right. You know what I'm saying? They did the job right. Yeah, man, I gave him a $2 tip, man. But yeah, I guess we're going to roll on, man. We're just going to roll on. That's what life is all about. I want to appreciate you guys for watching the vlog, man. I appreciate it so much. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Hey guys, one of the things I normally do, I'm at the U-Haul place right now, is that I park across the street. You see that Napa Auto Parts store behind me? I normally park over there. I get permission to park over there because in this U-Haul lot, guys, there's no parking. So you're not allowed to park because a lot of cars get hit and they don't really have a parking lot. So I always get permission to park over there across the street to uh, Napa. And they let me keep my car there for a couple hours while I rent one of these trucks. And I just got, I'm going to rent one of these smaller trucks this morning. And uh, just a few more things I got to do to move, guys, and I will be complete by the end of the day. Yeah, I'm walking over here right now, man, and uh, it's fresh air. It's not really that sunny. It's kind of cool today, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm, well, you can't see, but I'm done with the last dump run. Done with the last dump run, guys. Turn this truck in and we are done. We are officially done. We just got to pick up some stuff from the house and I'm done, guys. I'm done. And it's enough stuff we can fit in our cars. We are done. You see my son over there covering his face. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's the last dump run you will see. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, guys, I'm going to show y'all. This is the last thing. This is the last time I'm going to come back to this house. I got to come back and pick up my suits, but I can't put them in the car right now because I don't want them to get dirty. But, uh, and I got to pick up some, uh, some statues. I'm going to show y'all real quick what this house looked like, how old it is. It was really old, guys. I'm surprised we stayed this long, but I'll show you real quick. Okay, this is the kitchen. You know, it's not bad when it's clean. But, uh, you know, we hadn't cleaned it in a while. We knew we were moving out. Ceiling fan. You know, the landlord's going to have it. Uh, she's selling it. They're going to demolish it and rebuild it. There's a bathtub all messed up. It's a really old house, man. I'm surprised we last this long, guys. The floor was always bad. You see the, uh, 
bathroom floor right there is actually caving in because of water. They could never get the water stopped leaking right there. So it got bad over the years. Um, there's the refrigerator. Here's the living room one side. Right over there, I used to make my videos right over here with the green screen. Had my PlayStation all over there. You guys seen it before. That's the lamp right there I use my uh, green screen on. Those are the religious items right there. You know, like Moses and Mary and all those things like that. I got to take it back to the house. Um, there's my suits I kept downstairs because uh, we didn't have enough room in my closet upstairs. I mean, my wife had so many clothes. So I kept my suits and clothes right here. And I had a, all my other stuff in a dresser drawer. Um, there's some stuff I'm going to give away in a bag at church. This was our heater, guys. Where we got our heat from. It's a gas um, heater. There's my other green screen lamp I got to come back and get. But here's the other side of the living room. Y'all saw with my father-in-law. You should look at the carpet. I'm glad we don't have to clean this carpet. We don't have to do anything, guys. So we got lucky. It's a perfect timing. Uh, and there's the upstairs right there. You know, so uh, yeah, guys, we are done with this place, and I'll be showing y'all soon exactly what our new place looks like. I'll be seeing you guys in a minute. Like I said, guys, I don't know how long this vlog is going to be, but I hope you guys are seeing what Hollywood sports is going through. What's up, guys? My job is never done, man. It's never done, man. I, I was trying to hook my dryer up at the house, and um, I found out that I, need, I needed a, a four-prong outlet to plug in my dryer so I went to go get it from Home Depot where I went in my old house and it's a GE but I need a Kenmore dryer plug so now I'm sitting here looking and I don't see a Kenmore dryer plug so guess what I'm probably gonna have to go somewhere else I'm gonna go ask somebody before I leave though all I see is GE and I need a Kenmore man I tell you it just never stuff just don't never work out easy do it See, look at this, guys. All I see is GE, GE. All oh, GE back there. I'm gonna go ask somebody though. More GE, GE, GE. <laughs> hey man, how come how come you guys didn't tell me, man? It don't matter what kind of plug you put on the dryer, man. She said it's universal. GE makes, you know, GE makes it, but it'll go on any name dryer. How come you guys didn't tell me that, man? How come you guys didn't tell Hollywood that? Y'all should have said Hollywood. Doesn't matter what kind of cord. If you didn't know, now you know. A dryer cord, guys, you need the right prongs, you know, three or four prong dryer. But it doesn't matter what kind of cord you buy, whether it says Kenmore, uh, Whirlpool, uh, uh, GE. It doesn't matter, guys. They're all universal. It doesn't matter the name. GE normally makes them, she said, but it'll work on all name brands. Just so you know. A little education I just learned something so I came all the way to the store for nothing when it could have worked on my dryer <laughs> now guys I'm getting me some gas man you know I got to go to church in the morning and uh, you know I hate getting gas guys I really do I hate stopping to get gas man I always wait to the last minute to get my gas I'm always on e e e e e e e e e e e before I get gas your car was not red please insert again did I go the wrong way I think I have problems with this card, man. Remove rapidly. Okay, okay, I think it read. Did it? All right, there we go. Is this debit card? Yes. Protect your pen. Cover it up. <laughs> yeah, guys, I, man, I wait to the last minute before I get gas every single time, man. I'm on E-E-E-E-E-E-E. Okay, I didn't press enter. Got to pay attention here. Do you want a receipt? No, I never want receipts. Left handle, push button, select fuel. Oh, let me, uh, give me one second, guys. Give me one second. All right, here we go. Did I push the button? I think I pushed the button, guys, but I did push regular. I wanted regular. Whew. I didn't want that because this is an old car, guys. I don't want no expensive gas. I take the cheapest gas I can get, bruh. All right, I probably put about $10 in here. I should be okay. Let me switch hands here. All right.
right, so how y'all doing, man? Man, I tell you, man, moving is something else. You know, moving is exciting, but I hate it. I like it because you're moving, but, you know, you think about the work you got to do, man. Man, I've been moving all week, guys. We got our keys on Tuesday, and it's Saturday night. Oh, man, I went way past $10 talking to y'all. Hey, y'all tell me I was past $10, man. I might as well go and pop a 20 in there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. There we go. Yeah, man, I just popped a 20. I'm cheap, guys. I always, you know what? Every time I do gas, I only put $10 in at a time. <laughs> and $10 usually take my car to half a tank. I'm good, man. And I, I don't live that far from home, but now I do. Now I do. I live farther, far out, guys. You know, we kind of—I kind of wanted more of a quiet neighborhood. So it's a little, it's a, you know, it's it's in the city, but it's a way. Uh, after I turn off the main freeway, we're back a mile or two, and it's kind of—I'm in a quiet neighborhood, guys. Not a lot of traffic, you know. Not a lot of craziness going on. You know what I'm saying? Hollywood getting a little old, man. I like quiet. I like peace and quiet, man. I like peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. Oh, man. I don't know why this old car, man. When I started up, every time I put gas in it, it seemed like, I don't know. It seemed like it doesn't start up right away. I always got to. See, it just cut off again. I don't know, man. This old car is going to run out pretty soon, man. It's got 181,000 miles of 2005 Kia Spectrum. <laughs> All right, let me get my seatbelt on. Now, I'm on my way back home. I'm gonna hook this dryer cord up since it is universal. But I don't know what colors to hook up, man. So I, I didn't see it on the bag or anything. So I gotta look on YouTube. YouTube, man, everything's on YouTube. Now I'm gonna look on YouTube and see what color scheme I gotta hook up on this dryer because I don't wanna blow no fuse in this house already. Mess up the electrical stuff, sparking and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I told my son I was gonna start. Oh, it's right across the street. I didn't even notice that. I'm gonna go over here to this son of teriyaki, man. Get my son some teriyaki. Get me some teriyaki because my wife made tacos for dinner, man. I can't eat no tacos. You know, I can eat taco, guys, but uh, you know, I gotta eat gluten free, man. You know, I gotta eat gluten free, guys. So I can get this chicken with no sauce and no rice, just vegetables and, and some teriyaki chicken. But not, I don't put the teriyaki sauce on it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, you know, you know the brother got to eat some chicken, y'all. Y'all know Hollywood got to eat some chicken. I'm all, I'm parking in more than one lane. Guys, I'm really wore out. I'm not joking, man. I'm wore out, guys. When you move, y'all probably experienced it before, man. Moving is, ah, uh, 